I don't know if you've heard of this, if this is true or not, but if this is true, it is a game changer for a lot of folks on eBay. And I'm going to have to expand, I think, what it is I'm selling on eBay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we're in the Commonwealth Cabin. Having a great day of sales. I'm really excited to be back in here. I feel a little bit more organized headed into the new year. Still have a giant death pile in there. And they're putting down Blue Ridge Mama's floors in there too. So I'm kind of happy to be out here and not in there with all the dust. So at any rate, I have had a great day of sales. Like I said, actually, to be honest, it was yesterday that was a really good day of sales. Today isn't quite as strong. And these sales today are actually going to go out tomorrow. So so far, I have 29 items going out the door. Some will go out today, some will go out tomorrow. $753, so pretty happy about those sales right there. Although, that's cheating a little bit. One of these sales for $60 is my son's item. I'm going to ship that out tomorrow. And then there's a few of the Commonwealth Picker 12 Days of Christmas auctions in there as well. But there is a topic that I want to talk about really quick. I'm going to probably show you two or three items quickly. And then I hear Pepper at the door. Can you hear Pepper scratching? I think it's Pepper. She's the only one who wants to come in here and visit. So I'll grab her, show you a couple sales. And then I want to talk about this and see if you all have heard the same thing out there and what you're hearing. Let's go. All right, not a sexy sale right here by any stretch of imagination, but it's kind of bread and butter. I find these all over the place, so much so that I pass up on them a lot of times if I already have some. So this is my last base only sale. <laughs> Pepper's down here. I'm going to let her say hello and we're going to kick her out of here, I think. She's going to end up going up there in those boxes is what she likes to do and goes to sleep. So just a VTech base with the cord and you can sell them separate if you want to. They just pop out of there. But they're really lightweight, so they'll ship out for about eight ounces, I think, is what we ship them out for. So, you know, we're making like eight, nine dollars profit every time we sell one. And uh, I usually don't pick them up unless I've got them all sold. So I think they're all sold. For those of you who didn't catch it right before Christmas, we had a little cat show up. The kids called her Jingle, little baby kitten. Somebody off in the woods is having a bunch of kittens. And they managed to get their way up to my house somehow. And uh, once Reagan spots them, she coaxes them in and gives them their confidence, you know, and gets them built up and finally gets them in the house. And then we have to deal with them. So that one was a cute little kitten. That one was supposed to be gone by Christmas Day. But it's still here. I'm hoping by tomorrow, at least one of them. So Pepper knows she's got to butter, butter me up here to stay in the house because some of these cats got to go. There's four now. We got to get down to two, I think. All right, I'm going to show you all these at one time. This is the Lost and Found sale. I had a lot of people when we did that one on the Commonwealth Picker channel, like 150 bucks for all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal. And I, it, basically it's because it had that green Supreme sweatshirt in there, which is the real deal. I still haven't listed that thing. I need to do that. I might put it on Depop. So I did these and I was like, all right, we'll just talk about these four. And then this one was, I'm like, I'll throw this one in there too. So I've got the calculations right here. But you're looking at the White Hot Odyssey. This one I think I underlisted a little bit. I think I put it out for $12.95 plus shipping. The regular plain Odyssey, the two ball Odyssey. Hold on. Just a plain ping neoprene blade cover. Nothing to it at all. And then this one right here, the Rogue Fairway one. Fairway, I think, Rescue Hybrid. Although there's no little clip in there. They all have different prices and I don't want to go over each one, but the First four there, I think, the first four, first five, total of $46 after fees, after expenses, after shipping. So we added that in. And then the Callaway, $6. That's after shipping and after all that stuff. So a total of $52 profit, if you will, although we're eating away our initial buy here. So $141. So we're only $9 away from breaking even. And I have not listed that sweatshirt. And we still have two tubs full of head covers. So you can see how quickly that money can come in from head covers. And I did hear from one person out there who started going out to the courses around them, asking them if they could take them or buy them. I'm curious, has anybody else out there gone out to any of the golf courses around them and asked them what they do with their lost and found items? Just let me know in the comments. Any of you heard about eBay standard envelope? So I got a little heads up from somebody 
and I started to check on this myself and looked around a little bit, and this is what I came up with. I can't get any confirmation, but the story supposedly is that eBay put this out on their site, and then they pulled it because it's not quite ready for prime time. So eBay standard envelope shipping. This is the story here. Beginning January 2021, the new shipping service, eBay Standard Envelope, allows sellers in the U.S. to print labels and, pr and ship trading cards priced at $20 and under and up to three ounces. So up to three ounces, that's, I don't know, two, three cards or so. I suppose depending on if you put them in a top loader or how exactly you do it. I'm not quite sure on the specifics. Uh, in an envelope with, a, with tracking included for less than a dollar. So that's a game changer. Now, granted, it's $20 and under, but that puts a lot of things in play that previously weren't in play if you're trying to keep your top rated status. I know a lot of people, let me know in the comments if you have this. I thought about doing it. I decided not to because, I don't know, I just get, you kind of drowned in all these different stores and thinking about six different directions. And I have a full-time job at the time. So it's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go down that road. But a lot of people I know will have another store where they're shipping things in envelope, lower priced items. They're accepting the risk and the, the balance of it all is going to end up in some pretty good profits. Now, this is not guaranteed, but certainly if this were to occur, and I'm not sure when it will or if it will, my guess is it would probably expand into other type items, whether that's stamps or I'm trying to think what else maybe. Uh, patches maybe I don't know if that would work or not with the thickness but probably would stickers hey you know maybe rain you know I ship these out using the stamp but if I could put tracking on it and do it for say 75 cents I'd probably do that you know if it's available through some other means pirate ship I don't sell those on eBay but those kind of ephemera of different types I think could definitely do that so it's just something to think about I would love for this to come into effect a lot of you trading card people out there let me know in the comments what you think. Have you been reading about this? Is this rumor? Is this rumor based in fact? All right, specifics. Cost-effective shipping method. eBay standard envelope will cost less than a dollar with savings up to 70% over USPS first class package service shipping costs plus includes shipping protection. Ship items with ease. Once the item sells, sellers simply print the label using eBay. Sellers simply print the label using eBay labels and hand off their shipment to USPS. Yeah, that's easy as that, right? USPS always takes care of it. I'm kidding. I know a lot of people out there work for USPS. It's not easy. I get it. Avoid lost items and items not received. Many sellers simply use posted stamps, low price trading cards, which doesn't provide tracking with eBay standard envelopes you'd have tracking. All right, here's the requirements I read. No smaller than three and a half inches by five inches. No smaller than that. No larger than six and an eighth to 11 and, f 11 and a half inches. No thicker than a quarter inch. Okay, so yeah, you could do a patch with a quarter inch. It weighs up to three ounces. Interesting. I think that would be an awesome change if eBay would go down that route. That would be awesome. Hey, two charts sold right here, and one was 45 and one was 40. This was 40, I think. Earthworm. Really good condition on this. Doesn't have that canvas backing on it, but it's still a really nice looking chart right there. A lot of people ask me about media mail. They're like, hey, these are school charts. You can send them media mail. And that is true. You could send this one media mail for sure. I don't just simply because of the convenience of using the tubes right here. I don't send them. They're really light. They're all under two pounds when they get in these USPS tubes. But yes, you could send these media mail because they are educational charts. But I just don't. All right, here's the other one. General Biology Series. Make sure this is the right one. Hydra and Jellyfish. That was pretty cool. It does have that canvas paper back right there. Hey, somebody else told me that when I was down in South Carolina, I should have actually like eight or nine people said that I should have shipped all those Time magazines back to my house media mail. And not a bad option, except for I was literally traveling within hours, had to get out of there. But media mail for magazines, you don't ship media mail. You don't ship magazines with advertising in them. Media mail, I mean, you could and you probably get away with it. Most people probably do. But technically, you're not supposed to, even old-time magazines, send a media mail. Had an item sell that, in all honesty, should have sold. I should be selling these every day. I have bags of them in there. And during the pandemic, not that we're not in it, I suppose, but during the early stages of it, 
I listed almost everything in my dev pile, got it all out of there, saved these bags of motocross type stuff. Let me show you. And I mean, I listed everything except for these two bags full. Now I have another death pile, but that's another story. And these I bought in a garage sale. It's actually our most popular video on Commonwealth Picker. And I bought these, a lot of people were like, how well, you know, you paid too much for these things. And they just misunderstood what was going on in the video. I actually got these for around 270 a piece when it was all said and done, maybe a little cheaper than that. And you can see there's the price on them right there, $55.95. And this one sold for $20 plus shipping. So it'll give you an idea of the profit margin. But I have so many of them and they just have sat there because I haven't listed them. I think I've listed four now and they've all sold. It took a while for this one to sell, but it did sell. Here's the video. This is it right here. Maybe a lot of you came to us watching that video. It's got 131000 So it was last January, I think. So that was a good deal right there. You can see me paying her right there for all that stuff. And people were looking at the price percentage off and they were assuming it was off of the price, this price right here, but it wasn't. It was, I think, 65 or 75% off the price that they had listed and they had their own prices on them. And then I had her give them to me for half off of that. So people were kind of confused on the whole deal. So at any rate, I'm happy with that one. I would be much more happy if I would actually list the stuff. All right, one more item. And this is from a viewer. Now, I don't often sell items that viewers send me, but I think this viewer sent me this item so that I would sell it. So I'll let you take a look. It is, I don't know which one it's in. If it's part-time picker. No, maybe not in there. Garage flip. Yep, there it is. Right there. And this is the top to like a Tupperware, like nut. I don't know what you want to call them. Carousel. I don't know what exactly they're called. They have a name. I just can't remember it. And this thing sold for $6 plus shipping. So uh, whoever sent me this, I can't remember. I remember the sweet package y'all sent to me and the kids. But there you go. $6 plus shipping for that little thing. And if you can believe it, it's not the first time that I've sold that thing. Not that one in particular, just that one in general. I think I've sold that probably five or six times. All right, Turner has a homeschool hustler store sale. Show them what's sold. Uh, one horse, one horned. <laughs> no, one eye, one horned. Flying, flying purple, purple people, people eater. eater. You got it. And we bought that at the Goodwill. And I think y'all will see this video tomorrow on Commonwealth Picker. And Turner picked it out and he saw it, the purple people eater. And he knew I used to sing that song to him. And so he wanted to watch it, which we never did. So if he's going to watch it, he's going to have to watch it now. No, but you can probably watch it on YouTube. Yeah, probably can watch it on YouTube. And I saw, hey, this has got Shelly Winters, but it's got Neil Patrick Harris in it. And he must have been really young. So I thought this one would be a good seller. And it turned out to be. So it was 50 cents at Goodwill, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. And I would have never bought it without Turner. So you get an extra commission. Enough money to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. You got it, buddy. Thanks. Hey, finally sold these. They've been sitting back here a while. Usually I have them sitting on that Florida Gator hat back there. Bought these from a couple of kids. I really didn't want to buy them, to be honest with you, because you can see they're missing these little uh, ear guard things. I don't know what you call those things. And they weren't on them, but I'm like, you know what? That thing's pretty cool. Somebody eventually buy it. And I think I gave them a couple bucks for it. And it sold for $14.95 plus shipping and they do work it's all tested and works really nice so that's kind of neat if you can find these things this type of thing new in the box you can get hundreds of dollars for it sometimes and unfortunately these weren't new but they're in pretty darn good condition and the battery i can't get it off right now but no corrosion in them or anything so you know this screams i have a picture of my dad pop if you're listening out there he's uh coaching a baseball team i don't know if it was mine or my brother's but he was there and he was coaching the game but he was wearing these, probably listening to the Angel game while we were playing, you know. Priorities, Pop. Come on. American Eagle Mock Navy, size medium. These always sell for right around what this sold for. $12 plus shipping. Probably into it for a couple of bucks. And Crystal bought this on our 12 Days of Christmas right here. I love it. I think my mom, if I remember correctly, since I just talked about my dad, I gotta make sure we spread this uh, love around here. I believe my mom had a Mickey and Minnie, one of these, when I was growing up. So, Mom, if I'm right, let me know in the comments. Or you can tell Dad, too, since you don't comment very much. <laughs> anyway, that one's pretty good. I like it. So, 
Crystal, thank you. And this will go towards our 12 days of Christmas fundraiser, which I promised you I'd give you an update on, and I don't have the number, so we'll do it soon. All right, that is it for in here. There's a few more items. I just decided we're going to cut it off here today and maybe do a few more after we get done shipping. I got a lot of stuff going on here, and then we'll show you what's sold tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a Wednesday video. We don't do that often on this channel. Maybe we'll do two videos, one on Picker and one on Flipper on Wednesday, so we'll see. So, at any rate, we hope your sales are going great out there. Don't forget to comment below what you think. Is that going to help you with the idea of having a trackable envelope with a lower cost? Would it help you out there? Is it something you think eBay should do? Do you think they're doing it? Do you know they're doing it? And let me know if you know more than I do. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Hey, Reagan, guess what? You got another order of stickers came in today. We were almost out, y'all. 250 of these, and they're almost all gone, so we had to order another one. So, All right, what sold today? One thing, I think. One in a mug, two Kevin. One in a mug, two Kevin. All right, so thank you. There's so many Kevins out there. I think this is the Kevin from Massachusetts. So thank you all so much for that. Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at Commonwealthpicker.com. <laughs> There's two of them. All right, come over here. Look what we got here. I had to cut the address out of this, but this is from Giorgio. And it's a sweet little Virginia plate. This quarterly, and I'm not for, I'm familiar with that. I don't understand. So I'm going to have to check out to see what that is. But George sent me a message and check it out here. Proud supporter, Paralyzed Veterans of America. So George, thank you. We appreciate it. Yes. And we are going to find a spot for this one in here for sure. And we got another awesome plate. This plate, Turner, is from Prince William County. It's a truck plate. And it's the centennial. Do you know what centennial means? No. Cent means 100. Like a centipede has 100 legs. Okay. Wait, and but so what is Cent, because a hundred cents equals a dollar. Yeah, I guess there so. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is a cool looking plate. I love the yes. gray and the blue. It kind of matches perfect in here. So we're going to have to find a cool spot in the cabin for that one. I don't know, y'all. There's a. I need something kind of long for underneath in, in here. Could put something up there, I suppose. I was thinking back here, Reagan. What do you think? I need a little something right there. And then we could see that one every time we go back there. But check this out. So she sent these. I think it's a she. Yeah, it is. I should probably read it, huh? Mm -hmm. Kevin and family. Here we go. Cool. She bought it at the Goodwill. And, and wait a minute. She's not. She's from Minnesota. She says, June, not Keith from Minnesota. Keith, hope you're doing well out there. June, not Keith. I love it. And she found the ornaments as well this summer. And she sent them off to us. You like those ornaments? But check this yeah. out, y'all. Okay, this one. We, I know. Look at this. We've got a paper clip for ice skates, huh? Yeah. Turner, look at this. It's a little tiny one. Oh, that's Minnesota so plate. And we'll put it on the tree. Yeah. And we're about ready to take that tree down, but we'll keep it for next year for sure. Thank you, June. We appreciate it. But I wanted you to see this, guys. Look. Oh, that's cool. Our love is electrifying. That's so cute. what she's done here is where does she put it? I can't remember. Oh, here it is. I've been buying vintage playing cards for selling and crafting, and I noticed you recently had some vintage Snoopy playing cards. We sold them all. Hey. Last one yesterday. Both included cards, this one and this one, oh. are made with vintage playing cards. So that's a playing card. That's cool. And that's a playing card. And then she made them. Reagan, I thought you would really that's like that. Cool. So she put different mm -hmm. bits of paper. I'm not sure what that is. And she made a card out of it. Yeah, How cool, cool is that? You just take a different card and kind of mm -hmm. glue on top of it. How neat is that? that June really from cool. Minnesota. Love it. Yes. Reagan will probably do that next year that she's seen that. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you. Bye.